2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and, and committed them to pits of darkness, reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but preserved Noah, a preacher of righteousness, with seven others, when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly, and if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to destruction by reducing them to ashes, having made them an example to those who live ungodly lives thereafter. And if he res rescued righteous Lot, oppressed by the conduct of unprincipled men, for by what he saw and heard that righteous man, while living among them, felt his righteous soul tormented day after day by their lawless deeds. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from temptation and to keep the unrighteous under punishment for the day of judgment, and especially those who indulge the flesh in its corrupt desires and despise authority. Family, go on and read the rest of Second Peter chapter 2. It's quite interesting. You know, it says at the very end that a dog returns to his own vomit. So, you know, don't be that person. Don't be that one that's going to return to his old ways or her own ways. You know, let the old ways be behind you. It says that these people speak arrogant words of vanity. They entice with fleshly desires. Those who barely escape from the ones who live in error, promising them freedom while themselves are slaves of corruption. I mean, you can really sit down and just look around you and see how many people this just described. Family, be prepared for the days that we're going into. And be prepared for God's judgment. 